Hey guys, as I am at the moment in Mortal Online doing some butchering, I thought I would do a very quick kind of on the fly guide to butchery in Mortal Online. This is not going to be in much detail, you know, it's not, it isn't going to cover like everything, so I would highly recommend that you go to Google and type in Mortal Online Butchery Guide and that will bring up a guide. First of all that guide will tell you how you should make your character. If you want a butcher character that guide will tell you the best um, figures like numbers that you would want in your character creation for strength, dexterity and all those other physical attributes and everything. Um, so then the actual process of extracting um, you can either use a skinning knife or you can use a butchery table now a skinning knife works but you don't get as much stuff so personally I would go with the butchery table you acquire these uh, skills I believe the skinning knife you get that skill automatically the first time that you try to skin an animal like that I believe I could be wrong um, but the butchery the table you can either what well, I think that you have to read a book right I think you you might be able to again with the first time that you use it you might be able to gain that skill or you might be able to get it from an extraction tutor um, like I said um, this is not going to be like a perfect guide but this is just my experience um, and then it's actually I mean because you have to like get that skill as high as you can that will help you to get more out of your carcasses so it's a good idea for you to buy a book a butchery book a butcher table book or whatever it's called and then that will enable you to um, skill up the basic butchery stuff a lot faster that would be very good um, and then it's very very simple if you would like to butcher something you if you are using a butcher table like you have to find the butchery the extraction skill and then you use the extraction skill and you put it on your hotbar so I have it at number two and then when you actually click on it this thing here will come up that says extraction at the moment there there isn't I believe a catalyst option in butchery so just ignore this you obviously have your inventory open you drag the carcasses into your inventory you press process you see it says butcher 70 seconds and again as your butcher gets uh, a higher kind of skill level this will be faster okay um, it's quite important that you get the correct material laws and again you will get these by reading a book right if you ever try and butcher something and if it says here before it says how long the butchery thing will take if it says you can see there's other materials but you don't know how to get them or something like that that basically means that you need to go and find out what laws you don't have you know so that you can get absolutely everything out of that animal and every animal has a slightly different group of laws that you need and again as those laws get higher like the more things that you butcher of that type the higher your laws will go so for example here it says that my ground fur law increased to 49 so every time that you do this it will go up the higher each law is the more you will get out of your your carcasses and obviously everything that I have gotten out of my carcasses is over here on the right hand side okay so I'm going to start off another one I have cougars so I'm doing cougars but obviously um, like usually most butchers start with pigs like easier things and they'll work their way up 
you can either try to get people like to sell you carcasses in the towns or for example I have another character that's a fighter I get my fighter to kill the animals and he sends the carcasses in the post as long as the butcher and the, uh, the fighter are in the same town you can easily send in the post and then you instantly pick them up from the butcher character yeah so for you to find out what laws you will need for every animal just it's like I, I said at the beginning of this video you can um, find a butchery guide online through Google and that will give you all the details and if you press L and then <clears throat> you'll be able to find here The thing that you need, like, is, uh, yeah. So there are lots of different like laws. So I've got m mammalia uh, here. Whoops. Material laws. You've got a botany textile law so there's all these different laws and basically by pressing L you can find out what laws you have and how far on they are then you can work out you see I have all these laws here so then you can work out which laws you don't have you know it's like I say if it says oh you can't get the most out of this animal you'll have to just go online work uh, find out all the laws that you need and then look by pressing L or all of the laws that you have and see which law is missing and then you go find a book that you buy a book so that you get that that law so as you can see I've just picked up all the stuff here so I'm gonna put it in my horse <clears throat> so this is from five stacks of cougars I had five stacks of cougars and not all my stuff for cougars is completely like, maxed out but I do get quite a bit of stuff from five stacks of cougars I'm, I mean you can actually sell as well there are certain things you can actually sell to other players for example maybe a quality leather but things like incisium which you don't get with cougars things like incisium um, that kind of thing or like horned or killed scales I believe if you get that kind of stuff you can actually hoard it and keep it in your bank and you can actually sell it for more like to other players but sometimes it's quite hard it takes a bit of time but usually for things like cougars all I do is is I head over to the NPC yeah, and my game's quite laggy. I find that that's one issue with Meduli, is it lags quite a bit for me, especially because right now it's really busy. Look, there's lots of people around. It's kind of busy. Now, my horse is going to get stuck. I know it is. So I'm going to wait here for my horse to get out of there. Yeah, it's kind of laggy for me. I wish they would kind of fix this this lag you know like make it very smooth that's one thing with this game and especially with Maduli that annoys me when I was in Bacti I didn't whoa that's crazy lag I didn't really get this kind of lag in Bacti so it's I think that Maduli is one of the culprits in this game okay so I'm going to the NPC vendor I'm gonna put all my stuff and I just want to show you like five stacks of cougar carcasses uh, that's what f fifty thousand. I just want to like show you how much you can earn, like just by selling stuff to the NPC vendor. Whoops! And I just did the wrong thing there. So here we go. Dung, 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 dung. So. 22 and then 45 yep and then 58 so you can see from that um, from 
I think it basically took me half an hour like to kill those cougars and I've got 22 gold out of these cougars um, so you can see why this kind of thing you can see why this kind of thing it's a good way of making money I have basically um, used the butchery like I said my fighter will kill the animals I'm gonna go to the other storage because this one is really is gonna be really laggy um, the, f the fighter he will kill all of the carcasses or he will kill the animals even and he will send the carcasses and then it, it means because obviously my butcher and and my tamer characters they can't really really kill any of the um, of the animals <clears throat> so my fighter will kill them uh, and then he will basically be able to kill it Virtu well he can bas basically kill pretty much any animal in the game and then he will be able to send that to the butcher and I that's basically how I earned quite a lot of my m money for my house I think I probably earned more out of butchery than I did whoops wrong way out of um, selling horses like selling horses I did alright um, but yeah I pretty much think I made more from butchery than I did from selling horses uh, basically once you get into killing like cougars uh, campadons those kind of higher end animals you can start earning a lot of money like one campadon I think if everything is maxed out you're going to be getting like 30 gold 25 to 30 gold for all of the material that you get out of the a campadon and that's only by selling it to the NPCs right the NPC vendor also if you have terror bird a terror bird you get like 15 gold for all the material all of the material out of a terror bird so yeah once you get the butchery up to a high level and you start dealing in those kind of animals and again for you to find out those kind of like values of animals you just look on the forums there are people that have put guides about the yields um, of the different animals in the game and things like that so it's easy for you to find it out and um, once you get up to that level you can start earning a little like quite a lot of money the only thing is the butchery itself it can get kind of boring if you have a lot of things to butcher you know okay guys so that's just a very quick on the fly kind of guide to butchery uh, I really have not kind of covered everything it's just a quick guide like I said you look online for more info of course you can ask me a question in the comments hope you enjoyed the video see you in the next one